linear combination of atomic orbitals or LCAO method. Molecular orbitals are formed by the combination of atomic orbitals of bonded atoms. Okay, so in wave mechanics, atomic orbitals are expressed by the wave function psi. Okay, it is expressed by the wave function psi and these are obtained from the solutions of Schrodinger wave equation it's obtained by Schrodinger wave equation. Now, like atomic orbitals, Schrodinger wave equation can also be applied to describe the behavior of electrons in molecules also. Okay, but it is so complex. If the equation is applied to molecules and solve them, uh, the, uh, the equation becomes so complex. So, for the sake of convenience, researchers introduced a new technique or approximate method called linear combination of atomic orbitals or LCAO method is introduced. Okay. This uh, this can be applied to the molecules. Now, let us take hydrogen molecule as an example, H2 molecule. We can apply this method to hydrogen molecules. Okay, hydrogen molecule contains two atoms. Let A and B are the two atoms. Okay, so the atomic orbitals are represented by psi A and psi B. So, psi A and psi B are the wave functions or atomic orbitals of two atoms, hydrogen atoms can be represented by psi A and psi B. And the ground state, each hydrogen atom contains one electron in the oneness orbital. Mathematically, during their linear combination, addition and subtraction of atomic orbitals are taking place. Okay, addition and subtraction of atomic orbitals. Okay, mathematically, so mathematically this uh, molecular orbital can be represented as psi of molecular orbital is equal to psi A plus or minus psi B. Okay, so psi B, psi B the wave function for bonding molecular orbital will be equal to psi A plus psi B and psi A, psi A represents the wave function of antibody molecular orbital which is equal to psi A minus psi B. Okay. This psi B can be represented as sigma. So oneness orbital it can be represented as sigma oneness. Okay. And psi A can be represented as sigma star. So for oneness orbital we can represent it as sigma star oneness. So psi B can be represented as sigma and psi A Psi antibonding can be, uh, antibody molecular orbital can be represented by sigma star. Okay. During the addition of atomic orbitals, here the constructive interference of waves are, constructive interference of waves, interference of waves taking place which is called as bonding molecular orbital and in this case during the subtraction destructive interference of waves are taking place destructive interference of waves which is called as anti-bonding molecular orbital okay so addition can be represented like this so this represents the uh, bonding molecular orbital Okay, bonding molecular orbital. Bonding molecular orbital. Okay, and this represents the anti-bonding or, or molecular orbital that is subtraction of atomic orbitals taking place. So, in the case of bonding molecular orbital, the electron density is concentrated between the nuclei of two bonded atoms. Okay, electron density. is concentrated in between the concentrated in between two nuclei between 
two nuclei okay that is electrons feel more force of attraction okay electrons feel more force of attraction in this orbital okay so electrons feel more force of attraction electrons feel more force of attraction in this orbital that means bonding molecular orbitals have lower energy lower energy than atomic orbitals atomic orbitals or they are more stable okay they are more stable now in the case of anti bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital here subtraction is taking place okay so electron density is away from the nucleus okay electron density is away from nucleus okay or nuclei of two bonded atoms and electron density is away and there is a nodal plane between them between the nuclei okay and a nodal plane between nuclei okay so electrons feel less force of attraction in this orbital electrons feel less force of attraction in this orbital or we can say this orbital has higher energy than atomic orbitals higher energy than atomic orbitals or they are less stable okay they are less stable okay like this we can explain the energy or stability of bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital okay next relative energies of atomic orbitals and molecular orbitals of hydrogen molecule okay in this case this represents the atomic orbitals and energy there is a difference in energy can be uh, energy increase can be represented like this okay so in this case sigma 1s represents the bonding molecular orbital and sigma star 1s represents the anti bonding molecular orbital okay so in this case we can see that here bonding molecular orbital is having lower energy than atomic orbitals okay but in this case this anti bonding molecular orbital is having more energy than Uh, atomic orbitals like this we can represent the uh, energy the uh, energies of atomic orbitals and molecular orbitals of different molecules can be represented like this okay so similarly in the case of 2s 2p etc we can represent the diagram like this next what are the differences between bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals bonding and anti bonding first point is addition overlap of atomic orbitals takes place okay in the case of bonding addition overlap but here subtraction overlap okay here constructive interference of waves takes place and here destructive interference of waves next second point electron density is high greater in between nuclei in between nuclei between two nuclei okay but here electron density is less in between two nuclei okay next point 
this case electrons in this orbital leads to attraction okay electron in this orbital leads to attraction attraction between atoms okay but so this favors bonding okay but here electrons in this orbital leads to repulsion okay repulsion between atoms so this favors anti bonding okay and this favors bonding okay fourth point energy of bonding molecular orbital is lower than atomic orbitals what will be in the case of anti bonding energy is greater than atomic orbitals okay greater than atomic orbitals these are the differences between bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals okay